identify your target. Then kill them. Hello there people, this is Nova Mage and welcome to Real quick postcom, although <laughs> to be fair I don't even know what else I'm going to say if I do say anything. But uh, the purpose of this uh, quick postcom is to talk about the upcoming MAD or MAD as you may call it uh, game lab tournament. I have already gone to the Ubisoft forums and posted a thread regarding the tournament. You can find all details uh, by looking at the description and click in the link to go there. Essentially, uh, well, I will pretty much make a quick summary of what I can remember right now. Uh, MAD number one tournament is gonna follow the same principles as the Nothing is True tournament except for a few little details such as the number of players and well of course the mode template. For those of you who have missed on my previous MAD game lab videos, MAD is uh, kind of played like deathmatch, but the mode template is assassinate. So the mode template is assassinate. There is no compass. Uh, the meter starts at 350, so that's like the high meter, and the map type is small, so it is a deathmatch size map, but there are lookalikes, so that's one thing where it is uh, considerably different to deathmatch. Now the whole point of the mode is that uh, it is based mostly on stealth, but there, uh, like you can definitely play out uh, any playstyle that you want. And yeah, well, I already talked about that and some of the elements of MAD in my previous videos, so yeah, not gonna go over that again. But, uh, yeah, MAD is gonna have this tournament, and for the tournament, uh, there's gonna be only six players per side of the bracket. And the bracket may have... Uh, there will be either two or three brackets, depending on how many people decide to register for the tournament. Registration itself is done on the UB forums, so do not leave comments here or any type of thing. Yes, this is not the right place to register for the tournament. Registration is free, as always, and <laughs> nice kill right there. Um, registration is free, and there's going to be prizes again. Uh, prices are going to be $30, uh, $20, and $10 for the top three places. Essentially, what I did is that uh, this time, well, it's the same prices as before, it's just that I uh, cut down to half. Uh, the prices because the other half uh, are, are going to be used for Nothing is True number 2 tournament which has not been officially opened yet although I already know I already know what the date's going to be oh my god cell phone shut up why are you making noises right now so yeah uh, anyway uh, thing is that <laughs> the thing is that that's going to be for the tournament um, if there's only 12 people in the tournament, that means two lobbies of six. Uh, if there's 18 people in the lobby, that means three lobbies of six. If there's three lobbies, then that means that the top two of each is going to make it to the finals. The score system is the same as with Nothing's True. In other words, seven, uh, first place gets seven points, second place gets six points, third place gets five points, and so on until the last place which gets nothing, no points. And uh, in case of a tie, as it actually happened, and in fact there, <laughs> there were triple ties in Nothing is True number one during the Omega qualifier round. So in case of a tie, uh, what we do to decide to break the tie is that we take the individual scores of each match, not the, not the SS as it is named uh, for the stylish score or smart score <laughs> as some people like to call it I call it stylish score because the origin is from uh, the keeping it stylish tournament which I did before but anyway um, point is that you take the actual scores from the matches and you add them up if two people if two people have the same stylish score that is uh, you add them up and the person with the highest one breaks the tie and wins and let's see if 
Am I missing anything else? I well, okay. Well, the final lobby also has six people. Uh, if there's only two uh, lobbies of six, in other words, if it's only twelve players, uh, that means that the top three of each lobby will make it to the finals. Because the point is that the final lobby has to have six players as well. And well, what can I say? I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be a really interesting experience. And we'll try, as we did with Nothing is True number one, to get everyone to record the tournament if possible. And for those uh, that have YouTube channels, then it'll be likely that, uh, well, if they upload, then it's going to be awesome. And additionally, I think, well, in the last case, in the case of Nothing is True number one tournament, I, <laughs> all modesty aside, I won the Nothing is True number one tournament, right? So it was fine because I uploaded my point of view and, well, people uh, managed to see it from the person, from the point of view of the person who won the tournament. And that's great. Uh, but in the case that uh, I do not win any of these tournaments or the upcoming Nothing is True tournaments, which, if I must be honest, I <laughs> I don't feel like I will not because I uh, don't trust my skills but because what can I say it's like it's not even the same type of motivation after you have won at least one and I'm pretty sure that uh, for people who lost and say for example I don't know maybe Sergio or Frage who were like second and third uh, they're gonna be they're gonna have you know that extra <laughs> that additional little bit of motivation to try to beat me so it's gonna be like no image sorry but you cannot win this tournament <laughs> i'm not saying they're, they're gonna cooperate or anything it's just that i mean that's just how it is <laughs> everyone loves to see uh the underdog win right like you you, you don't want to see no champion win against not it's not what you came here for. You came. <laughs> you're gonna come there to see me fall. <laughs> but anyway, good thing is that MED number one tournament is. Uh, well, I have been playing it and competitively, I'm good and all. But I can't say I'm a, a master at the mode. Honestly, like each and every time I've played, there's always at least two or three players that their player they're playing be better than me, and they beat me. But, uh, nonetheless, I mean, it's going to be fun, and I think that, personally, whoever wins the tournament, I will uh, upload, the, upload their point of view, just to, you know, so that people see how it went and can see the greatness of the mode, because that's the whole point of this. this the point is to promote the mode. I mean, I, of course I'd like to win. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to win? But it's not necessarily the main target of the event. The main target of the event, if anything, and if may I speak about the future or what I would like for the MAD tournament to become, I would like, uh, first of all, well, if we can take it by steps, I would like to see it make it into the public playlist. That's one thing. And because there's a, a decent amount of doubt regarding whether there's gonna be multiplayer in the next AC or not, then it would be cool. It would be cool. I'm not saying it will happen. I don't know. I don't know that. Nor can I say that it will happen. But say if, uh, if I don't know, Ubisoft could consider making AMD an official mode for the next Assassin's Creed multiplayer, which could be like Assassin's Creed 6. That wouldn't be Assassin's Creed 5 because. Oh, well, we don't know, but... <laughs> oh, that kill was bullshit. That kill was absolute bullshit. He didn't even know where I was. He went. He was going to go right through me, and I tried to stun him, and he killed me. That was garbage. Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. Anyway, uh... <laughs> me complaining about a game that already passed. What's the point? Uh, so, anyway, yeah, that would be the, like, the ideal thing. To see that... To see it go that far. But, you know, that's just like, I don't know, <laughs> that's a dream, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a dream, because, I don't know, I don't know. Ubisoft, well, if they put it in the public playlist and everything, I will be thankful, of course, but from there into putting it 
into the actual game? I don't know. That will really depend... More than me, that will depend on you guys. I mean, because they don't make a game for me. They make a game for everyone. And that's the thing that a lot of people will never understand. This game is not just for you. It's for all of us. So, while Ubisoft is criticized heavily for all the things that they do, then... Well, I might have to say, and well, yeah, I have to say, that they have done a fine job, even if just in creating a community, even if we have all the troubles that we do have today, and even if the game does have, indeed, tons of quality issues. But nonetheless, well, yes, that's all kind of like I had to say. I didn't really come here to praise Ubisoft or anything. <laughs> Not really my thing, but yeah, I actually do love at least the modes that I play from the game that they have created. Not to mention that their game has a really good message in terms of the single player, or at least it used to have. <laughs> I mean, uh, campaign-wise, uh, it wasn't a great deal. This here is something interesting for those of you watching the screen. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I just lost. And I did have a legit chance of winning it there at the end with the kill I was going to get. But I, I just couldn't do it. And I'm kind of like just replying to to the players uh, and talking about good game and that. It would be really cool if more players did that. But I guess that's the kind of thing that has to come out naturally. Anyway, people... This has been Noble Mage. The video is about to end just now. Yeah, there it goes a black screen. But yeah, I'm going to finish saying the usual cliche phrase. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked, uh, remember to hit the like button. And I'll see you next time.